MMA Digest here with Lorenzo Fertitta. So, Lorenzo, you're trying to get uh, MMA legalized here in New York. Has there been a lot of progress in terms of uh, this objective? There's been a ton of progress. I mean, we have passed out of the Senate the past four years. Uh, we now have been through the Assembly the past four years, but we haven't been able to get a vote. Uh, we feel very confident that we have the support. We go up and down the halls and count votes yes and votes no. We clearly win if we're allowed to, for the democratic process to move on. We would win it and the sport of MMA would be legal in the state of New York. And uh, aside from just New York City, uh, it's going to have a big impact on Buffalo, Rochester. Uh, should you talk about that a bit? That's why we're here. I mean, there's no secret that if we do an event in Madison Square Garden, it will be an epic event. It'll be big. We'll have a big economic impact there. But the reason we're in upstate New York is that places like Buffalo, Rochester, and Syracuse, we could do massive events here. I mean, we estimate that we could generate upwards of $100 million in economic impact over the first two years. And, you know, for cities uh, like Buffalo that have had a lot of economic problems, a lot of difficulties, they need jobs. I mean, they should be welcoming, welcoming us with open arms, not pushing us away. Definitely. And has the Culinary Union has been a thorn in your side still? And have you ever considered like talking to them and, and working with them or anything Look, like that? Look, you got to understand, or? people like that, there is there's no there's no way to uh, reconcile the situation. Right. No, they are out. They want to do everything they can to prevent us from being successful in our business. Unfortunately, in that wake, they're hurting a lot of other people, a lot of small businesses, a lot of small business owners, a lot of fighters. Um, the reality is that they've been up in the front, up in the open, saying that they're against us, uh, are against the state of New York legalizing the sport, only because they think that's a point of leverage that will allow them to be able to uh, unionize our casinos, which is a crazy notion because at the end of the day, whether or not our employees decide to be represented by unions, it's not up to us anyways. I mean, our, our employees decide that, not us. So um, they figured out that they can't organize our employees a traditional way, so they go through it a, a different way, which is unfortunately creating a lot of, a lot of bad things for a lot of, bad, a lot of people, a lot of other people. Has there been any new uh, other developments in the UFC internationally? I know you work on that a lot. Any new uh, developments there? You know what? We're working on some things. I think in the near future you'll see some uh, some announcements and some new regions where we'll be adding a number of fights. You know, to kind of get more of a local presence. Right. Uh, we have a fight this weekend in Brazil. You know, it's kind of one part of that. We're going to have more of a presence in Brazil. We're looking for more presence in Europe and more presence in Asia. So, right. continuing to work on that. Uh, is Tough India still going to happen, or do you still need more time for that to come to fruition? It's taken a little bit more time than we thought. Um, you know, we're working at trying to develop the talent pool. Our partner there is Sony, Sony Six, um, who is still, you know, we're contracted to do that, and we're, we're excited to get that rolling. It's just taking a little more time than we thought. And uh, tough Canada versus Australia is that going to happen? Uh, do you know when or what's a? You know, that's that's an idea we've been kicking around in the office. Uh, nothing uh, set yet, um, but it's something we're certainly working on. Tom Wright and his group up in Toronto have been working on that, and uh, we think it could be a pretty pretty interesting concept. So. And where do you spend most of your time internationally? Are you spending most of your time in Brazil or, or Asia? Where do you spend most of your time? You know, the majority of our time is probably right now spent in Brazil because we're really in the development stage there and there's such a big opportunity there. So we just uh, opened an office in Sao Paulo. Where we've hired uh, Grace uh, Torino to run that office for us. She's bringing her staff on. So we've been focused on getting that up and running. But of course, you know, still spend a lot of time in Europe with Gary Cook and Asia with Mark Fisher. And, you know, Tom's easy because Canada, the business is so good. We don't have right. to check up on him too much. So things are going good up there. Very good. Thanks a lot for your time.